Hello, everybody. Welcome back. 15 Good Minutes. This is Coach B. Freddie, how are you, man? I'm doing well. How about you guys? Doing good, man. Welcome back. Yeah, how you doing? Good, man. Rested. Watched a lot of ball this weekend and baseball, too. Be good. We're sing- single-threaded today. Final four is this weekend. Um, just going to do a quick, quick, quick breakdown. I mean, um, NC State, Purdue, Alabama, UConn. I'm just going to jump right into it. Um, I'm, I'm going to start with you, GR, um, on, on the side that's got Alabama, UConn. Is there a player on either side for you that is uh, a difference maker for them, either for Alabama or for UConn? Mm. I'll be honest with you, I, I've, I've watched them, but I don't watch them a lot. I've been watching more of uh, the other game, those those, those people. But uh, no, nah, there is there is really a, a player that I could actually tell you that's going to make a difference. Uh, all I know is UConn's been playing good ball all year. Uh, they seem to still be playing consistent basketball, and I think it's just, it's going to be. It's, it, I'm not going to say it's going to be easy, a hard, a tough, a easy game. I mean, because everybody comes to play. And this is, you know, this is this is right next to the chips, so we just we'll see. I, as far as I'm concerned, I'll just see how that one goes. Freddie, give me somebody if you have somebody for both teams that can be a difference maker in that game. Well, for Alabama, what's his name? Cal Grant, the mm-hmm. sim- the transfer from what is South Dakota or North Dakota State or somewhere. They got a couple transfers, yeah. I, I think him. Um, I think. Because with their guards that they play with, what's his name? Spear, the Sears, or whatever his name. Yeah, he's he's a guy that, that came to mind for me. You um, know, also a transfer. Yeah, those, those Mark Sears. For me, their guards are so ultra competitive, and they can give it to you inside or attacking the basket. I think for me, it would be Grant because he to me is the wild card because he's going to pull your big man out, which will allow their guards who I thought you know. Pretty good. Too. Is Grant the kid who's who grew up in Chapel Hill? Mom yes. played for UNC. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. He 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 was he was lights out. You know. I I think you're, I'm, I might have to look towards him. I had Sears because Sears was, you know, he's coming in hot too at 21 points a game, <laughs> um, and he does it. I think he does a really good job of, um, you know, keeping everybody engaged and keeping that team focused. Yeah. Um, you know, so. Flip it for me now, Freddie. So let's go to LSU. I'm sorry. Let's go to Purdue. Um, give me a, give me a difference maker in your mind on 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 uh, the Boilermakers. We all know who it is. It's Edie. I don't know if he's. Well, I mean, yes. Yeah, I can. I guess. Him. If he's so, he's, you're saying you know, they go as he goes. Yes, because nobody else on their team, you know, is is a, is a true threat. He allows everyone else to do and chip in but with, and do what they do. Uh, without him, you know, they, they're an average team. That's interesting. I talked to a guy at work today. We were kind of breaking this down, and he said that he said that he thinks that Purdue is, um, I think the word he used was single-threaded, right? Um, and and that at some point that may cause them uh, a problem. So, okay, so Jr., I'm going to start with you. Looking at looking at the semifinal, um, NC State Purdue. You still going Purdue? No, I. I it, it, let me explain now. I was Purdue all year, and f- what Freddie mentioned is something. You know, Edie is really good, but I don't know if he's if he's if he's quick enough to stay with DJ Burns. You know what I'm saying? DJ Burns. He's he's more of a he he can move faster. So he's he has got to play defense, you know. Of course, he only has he's been doing pretty good defensively. No, no, no. I understand that, but but not against a faster, a fast big man. Okay, so I don't know. It, it I think I I really do believe Steve. Steve that messed me up, man. You know, you know what I'm saying. I'm talking to Steve. <laughs> Leave me alone. I'm gonna I'm a stick with Purdue, he, even though I like Burns. I like his. I like his. Man, uh, his you two are guys. all over the map. No, I know, man. I know, I, but I've been thinking. <laughs> I've been thinking about this all afternoon after talking with him, man. Uh, he, 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 he's is is, is he's got to have uh who's who's that guy that's feeding him the ball all the time? Uh, let me see. Who is it? Brandon Smith? You know they got that little that little uh turning turn and, and turning and, and him do his thing. I, I just don't know, man. This is a tough one to call. 
It really is because both of them have two good ball handlers that help them out. Uh, in uh, what's his name? De Hara, the Hara. I can't think of the other fella's name, but uh, NC State's got Jaden and uh, his partner Marcel. Uh, it, it just looks like three against three to me. And I know I know you're saying that he's a he's a one trick pony because he's the only guy that can do it. But these guys have been good supporting supporting uh, supporting cast for for Purdue and for uh, North Carolina State. So, so I, your winner I'm is going, I'm going with Purdue. That's, that's all right, I'm all right. going with Purdue, but same but game, saying, Freddie. You know, um, what do you what do you see in NC State? Um, NC State versus Purdue. Um, is it a clear winner for you? And if so, who's who is it? I think it's uh, uh Purdue. The reason why I say Purdue, um, Gr said that uh, DJ is big and fast. Um, what people realize about Edie, it, however you say his name, is he's fast enough, but it's his length, right? And he's not, he's, you know, DJ, yeah, you might try to back him down and this and that and yada, yada, how you can get other, you know, 6'10", 240-pound you know, guys. Edie is about 270. Right, but he has that length, right? So I think that's gonna interrupt DJ a little bit more. Not to mention he's not gonna be able to push him down on the blocks, which I think that is gonna help Purdue's perimeter guys play defense and keep um what's the young man, um, the point guard out DJ? of the D D yeah, D the other DJ. Yeah, the, oh yeah, the other DJ, right? So I, I'm going with Purdue. I can't I can't pull from NC State. I'm yeah. I'm gonna go with Purdue and I'm gonna say for a couple of reasons. One, I, I I like DJ and yeah, he's quick, but um he doesn't do a lot of minutes. So, you know, um I think Edie's gonna get him in minutes, and that's that's significant. We we're we're talking about whether or not uh Zach can stop DJ. Can DJ stop Zach? I think that's the bigger question because to Freddie's point, um Zach's good right now. You know, he's at his, his blocks is good, he's not fouling out, he's getting a ton of minutes. Um, I think that they both, both of those teams go as their big man goes, but I will give the guard nod to NC state, but, um, for that semifinal, I, I got to go with, uh, Purdue as well. So, so moving over to you, JR, you got the reigning champions who have just been housing people. At one point last week, UConn went on a 30 to nothing run against Ooh. Illinois. 30 to, I, I never seen nothing. That so, um, so I'm gonna ask you: Can Alabama beat them? Um, and, and if so, how? Or are you going with the you going with chalk and taking? Going, you? I'm going with Alabama. I mean, with uh, UConn. It's like like I said, they've been playing consistent ball. It's no fluke, you know. And I I don't think that they're gonna come this far and let some team. I'm not just some team, but just let any team, you know, try to steal it from them. So I. This this is like what they do. I mean, they don't always win, you know. They don't always go to the end, but they're always in the thick of things for some reason. So, so a blowout for you? No, I don't think it's going to be a blowout. I I, I think it, it may be about seven to ten point difference, but I don't think it'll be a blowout. Freddie, does UConn have any challenges uh, against against Alabama? You and I were talking a little bit ago um, about a couple of key people that can get hot on Alabama. Do they have a shot? Yeah, they have a shot. They definitely have a shot. Um, mm -hmm. I think the key is, is going to be Grant. I think that's – I mean, their guards going to do what they do. I think the key is Grant and how can – can he get the their big man of Alabama who – and not to mention, they're not really known for playing defense, Alabama, right? You know, they, they get have like, what, 81, have 81 possessions a game, something like that. It's quite a so, few, yeah. You know, so they want to get up and down the court and, and whatnot. Um, which if they can get up up and down the court, you know, they help with extra possessions. Um, but I think that UConn wins. Uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna say 84, uh, 75. Interesting. Okay, yeah, both of you guys have a single digits. I think UConn's gonna win. I think it'll probably they've been winning by double digits. I don't think they're going to house them. Got to tip my cap to Alabama. You know, they were. They were number one a year ago and kind of, you know, um, they didn't make it all the way. And I think a lot of people, including me, kind of, you know, haven't given them their, their just reward. But they've been playing well. Uh, also, like I said, Mark Sears has been leading that team. 
pr- pretty good. I don't expect UConn to have an off day, Freddie, but that's that to me is the shot that you have. UConn has to have an off day. They just keep coming at you. One big goes out, another big comes in. The, the, the people that they reload with, to me, are are capable, could be starters on other teams. Um, so for this one, too, I will uh, – I have to go in, in this case with the reigning champ. So, 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 so with you, Freddie, um, championship Monday, you got the two bigs going against each other. You, you've now got, you know, Purdue facing the reigning champion, you know, UConn Huskies. Uh, give me a winner and why. UConn. Uh, I'm going to say UConn. 85-69. And I, I, I will say that. Because UConn can give it to you however you want it. They can get they can they can play half court, they can play in transition, they defend, uh, they, they can go inside, they can go outside, they can do whatever. To me, um Purdue is a little bit one-dimensional. They they're 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 overly dependent on 80. JR, same game. Who wins the national championship on Monday? And why? I know all that Freddie said, I'm still going with Purdue. And I think, uh, like I told you before, I remember I told you I liked them. I just think that they've been playing steady ball as well as uh, UConn has been as far as in their their uh, the game that they've been playing against whoever they played. Now, I know that uh, it's going to be a load. It's going to be a load for them to 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 to, to beat them. But I I just think that uh, I, I like their I like ED, and I I just I think that they'll figure it out. You know, you you can you can. You can only keep somebody out of the middle for so long, and who can shoot from outside as well, you know. So uh, they're gonna have to pick their poison. Where you gonna you gonna keep him outside? You gonna keep him inside? You know, he he's like he's he's he can he can do a lot of things. So give me a score. Say, you know, hey, I, if I, I would say maybe maybe a uh, 80, 70, 76. a close game. Close game. Okay. Okay. I'm I I thought about it too. I, I'm gonna go with Purdue. Um I th- I really do think that UConn is the better team, but I think they have the most pressure on them. And I will say this, I mean, I think it goes without saying, but Edie can't do this by himself. No. Uh, I don't know what Matt Payne is working on right now, but he that's that's what you got to focus on this week. Is you know, you're gonna get you're gonna get 22, 24 from him in there, but you're gonna need more. How are you gonna get the more, right? And um, what are you going to do defensively to slow down uh, that that husky machine because they just keep coming? So, uh, good luck to to those remaining on both the the men's and the women's side um, going into to this national championship uh, weekend. Um, before we before we cut out, Jr., you got anything to say today, man? Yeah, I got one thing to say, and uh, it, it's it's in reference to uh, Caitlin Clark and and Andrew Reese. Man, people, let them live. I heard a, uh, somebody made a comment today. I think I saw it on uh, what was it? Uh, it was it was one of the social media things. The person said that they're just like they're a modern day Magic and Bird. Let them be that. You know what I'm saying? Let them come and do, you know what I'm saying and bring it with them. Don't don't don't. It seems like people are. Just stirring up stuff. Don't let it stir up themselves. Let them play the game. You know, uh, one thing I liked about Caitlin Clark last year, she didn't she didn't jump on nobody for all of this. All she said was, "Hey, it's in the heat of the game. We're doing it." And that's what that's what they were. You know, wasn't no no animosity. You talk smack now, I talk smack later. You know, so just just let them be sports people and play play. Fair enough. How about you, Freddie? You got something to say today? Not really, no. But in retrospect, Caitlin did do the you can't see me just the first. And yes. Angel and the girl, they got back at it. So you really couldn't do nothing especially with the <laughs> But you know, I'm just you know just throwing that yeah, out. Yeah, I, I hear what you say. I hear you did it first, you, know so you really couldn't you say it. I would continue. My I got something to say would be th- what you I think what you've seen with the NCAA is just it's it's really, really good. And uh, you only have to look at a team like like NC State uh, losing seven of the last nine of the regular season, playing five nights in a row in the ACC tournament. Five nights in a row on any level is difficult. 
yeah, playing cool. five nights, winning, going through the likes of Duke and Carolina, coming into the tournament. And, you know, to me, that you're not a Cinderella the way you've beaten people. You know, you're not taking out Duke again and some other really good teams. So um, I guess that's my I got something to say is congratulations, man, to, to, to NC State on a larger scale. And I would say the same thing to UConn. If I'm the athletic director for either one of those programs and my men and women are in the Final Four, I'm walking around campus and my chest out like AD right here. Who come come get some? How happy must must those um of campuses be to have both programs playing at this level? You yeah, I don't think that can be understated. So that was my thing was, you know, congratulations to everybody who's here right now, but particularly uh NC State because uh they, 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 they got something going, and it will be one hell of a story if we're talking about them next week. So that's all we got. We hope you guys enjoyed the semis this weekend and tune in on Monday night for the Natty, uh, at least on the men's side. Take care. <laughs>